on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show using a single computer to put up lyric videos with confidence lyrics. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we go through and learn a little bit more about using different software for the church. Right now we're still arms and elbows into ProPresenter 5, but that doesn't mean that this is the only software we're going to deal with forever, just until I feel like we've covered it adequately. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, by the way. I got tons of them last week, and more is always better. So drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F. Or you could absolutely just leave your question under the video. That's cool, too. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. I've showed you before how to use a video encoded as ProRes 4444 in order to put a transparent background video on top of another video. So here, let me show you just uh, so that we remember basically how to do that. So I've got my background file here, and this might not like me doing this. Okay, so there that is. And I can just leave this looping. Let's say that I want this to loop for as long as the announcement time goes. And then I want to actually start the foreground video, which has the words on it, without anyone noticing that the, it's, the loop has changed. So I would do that by right-clicking on this empty slide here, going into Edit Slide, clicking on this little movie icon here, not to be confused with the video camera, that's something totally different. And so what we're going to do is find where I put that video. Mighty Fortress, there it is, of course. Okay, and you'll notice that it looks like it has white background. That's not white, it's actually transparent, but ProPresenter shows it as uh, white, just as this falling sn snow down here is. So, now I can get out of this, and... While with regular lyrics, it would look like this. Let's uh, clear the slides there. With this, now the timing is all wrong. I just did this really quick, but I just want to show it to you. So you see that this is much more kinetic in the typography. And that's something that ProPresenter can't do itself, is this kind of great kinetic typography. So that's the kind of thing that maybe you would do for a performed song, a special music, something like that. But wouldn't it be great if you could also show the, the people singing what the words were? So if you were to do that, here, let's go back to the way that we had it, and if I click on this, you'll notice that as soon as I click on that, this shows up, which is not so much good, and the background, the kinetic typography video goes away as well. 
So, how do I get past this problem? Well, the answer is actually something that we talked about in a previous lesson. Uh, here, let me go ahead and clear this slide. So, what we can do is we can do the, under actions, there is show slide on stage display only, command zero. So I'm just going to use command zero just because it's faster. So now I start this video and I do command zero. I should get this right here and now I can go through these and these will show up on the stage display. So So that's basically um, how we would go about doing this and how we would accomplish doing this. Now, you might be thinking, man, can I combine this having a background video, having a video with type on it, with having another video? in the props? Well, let's find out. So I click that, bring up the props, and put the prop in and you'll see there's snow on top of it. So again this the timing is all wrong on this, but you can see that I can actually have three layers of video with transparency on the top two all at the same time and that is pretty cool and that's why I love ProPresenter 5 because it's just so powerful just uh, just to show you that I didn't uh, set this up ahead of time in uh, kind of a phony way here I'm changing the background here and so now you see how easy that was to change the background on the fly? Really cool. And so if you can't decide between two backgrounds or you think that your uh, pastor's going to not like the background you actually prefer, this is another way to get around that, by the way, if you're going to do something like this. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that that was something that you've been curious about and it would enable you to do more in your church. If you like this content, why not join my free newsletter? I'll give you, for example, uh, a list of my top five ProPresenter tricks that not a lot of churches are using, including one that's very applicable to today's lesson. Just head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and just choose the ProPresenter 5 Tricks uh, free gift. There are others there as well, so if one doesn't uh, suit your fancy, maybe another will. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, one computer, lyric video, and confidence lyrics. Take two.